Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Saturday. So I'm going to bring in the gorgeous Emoji Lovers Oracle today and I'm going to complement this with the Silence deck. So we're going to look at his emotions first and then bring this deck in. So I am really feeling all this power around the masculines today because they've even been swearing on the Bible that they won't hurt you again. It's like he's doing everything in his power to make you trust him. He's saying, just give me that Bible, I'll swear on that if I need to. If I need to go in front of a judge, if I need to swear on a person, I'll do it. You know, he's saying, I just want you to trust me again. So what do we need to know? And, you know, if you want to connect with that reading earlier, that's in the daily twin flame reading. Okay, that's, is the masculine waking up spiritually? And he's saying, I don't want to hurt you again. So today he's saying, you are the yin to my yang. We are truly a perfect match. So your masculine knows that you are a perfect match. And he's saying, we are yin and yang. We might fight sometimes. We may struggle, but we always come back because we are one. We are two halves of the same soul. And I remember when I was waking up to the journey and I wanted a sign. And I asked the angels, what is the twin flame love? Can you show me a sign? I'll clearly understand and someone came into where I was working at the time and gave me something that was in two parts and it fitted together. And I'll never forget that, the power of it, because it's two becoming one. And there's that song by the Spice Girls, two become one. So two parts, two separate bodies becoming one. And you become one when you make love, you become one when you are together because you feel whole. And you feel whole anyway because you are always together. Separation is illusion. So don't think you need your twin to be with you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year to feel whole or complete. You always feel that way. And that's why when we harmonise with ourselves as a divine feminine and we reach inner union, we reach outer union very quickly because we realise nothing is missing at all. When we're constantly trying and forcing and trying to make our twin love us and show us affection and give to us everything we want, we're always going to be left disappointed because it's not their job to give us all of those things. It's our job to give ourselves those things. And then our twin is just an example or an, you know, kind of extension of that. So this is the power of the love. And we've got the angel. I see all the signs just like you do. The angels are guiding me back to you. Look at this. The angels are guiding me back to you. So look how powerful these emojis are. Yin and yang, balance, one energy and the angel. The angels are guiding me back to you. And what's he been saying over the last few days? I'm coming home to you. Let me come to you. Let me text you. Unexpected messages. He can't get clearer with you. He's on his way. And he says, no matter the time or distance between us two, I will always spiral back and around to you. Wow. And in all the times I've been using this deck, this is the first time this card's come out. So it doesn't matter if you've been going round and round in circles or you live on opposite sides of the world or in different time zones. Your twin is saying, I will always spiral back around to you. I will always find my way back around to you because all paths lead home. And we've got the swan. So the swan is the energy of the divine feminine. So he knows that you're the empress. He knows you're the one. And he says, we are meant to be. Now he's using the word soulmates. I don't feel there's twin flames in this deck or sometimes the masculines don't understand the label twin flames. So what he's really saying is we belong together. We belong together. We are mates for life. Our love is pure and true. You are the one I want to mate with forever. So he's saying to you, you're the one I want to be with for the rest of my human life. You're the one I intend to be with. And the changes are real. So he's showing you a butterfly. I am no longer the person you remember. So the person who hurt you, he's not that person. He's stronger now. He's clearer now. He's maturer now. He's more awake and aware now. And that's why he's saying to you, I swear on the Bible, I won't hurt you again. And I've been overthinking everything. I feel so stressed out. So he's still stressed out. He's still a little bit confused about what to do and what to say and how to do and say it. So he needs a little bit of 
understanding, compromise, compassion and faith. And divine love is yes, us too. We are twin flames. What we feel is real and true. So there is a twin flame card here because he's saying to you, even if I don't use the label, even if I don't tell you we are twin flames, even if I say we are soulmates or, you know, anything else I say, I know that we are twin flames. What we feel is real and true. And the fire there, the heart on fire, the passion, the desire, this is everything he's been going through. So he's saying, no matter what I've said or done in the past, I know we belong. And what we feel is real and true. We are divine lovers. Yes, us too. Love that. Isn't that powerful? So I'm going to bring in the silence deck. And the thing that's so amazing is, you know that in this emoji deck, there's all kinds of emojis and faces and everything he's giving to you there is sacred. Everything he's showing to you is of his higher self because he's giving you the heart on fire which is the symbol of the passion, the desire, and the love. The swan, which is the symbol of the divine feminine grace and beauty. The spiral. So he's showing you, you know, wherever he goes, whatever he does, he's coming back. The angel and the butterfly for transformation and guidance. The yin and yang, the polarity, the way he understands the truth. And yes, he's a bit confused, but aren't we all? We gain clarity through the confusion. The differences between a scare me but excite me too. I'm accepting that. So if you're thinking he's confused because you've got an age gap or there's differences between you, it isn't that. He's thinking, wow. In fact, he's in awe of the differences because he's loving that about you. He loves the fact that you're the older one and you know what you want. He's loving the fact that you are different than him because it inspires him to become his best version. It creates adventure in his life. It makes things exciting. In fact, he's worried about you accepting him. I'm healing my addiction so I can feel free. So if he's got any addictions right now, such as alcohol, gambling, smoking cigarettes, vaping, weed, anything that he is doing, he wants to give that up. And he's saying the thoughts get too much in my head sometimes and I have to go away while I sort through them. So he isn't ghosting you, remember, he's reflecting on his life that came up yesterday. And let me sort things out and I will be back. So he's saying, I am just sorting through a few things today. I'll be back. And you might think, well, what are you sorting out? I'm sorting out my karmic ties. You make me happy and healthier. So why am I running? I feel like such a fool. So I'm talking to in my mind. And I am hurting inside and need time. So he's saying, I need time alone because I'm hurting. But he knows that you're the one. And he is on his way back. And he's working through all of these fears and emotions and feelings so he doesn't hurt you again. So he comes back in the right energy as the butterfly or the eagle. Because the butterfly is really the caterpillar transformed. The eagle is the stag transformed. And that's what he's saying to you. And you are the swan who is allowing everything to flow and be at peace and be at ease. And this is your beauty. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.